Hi guys, in this video I want to talk to you about Theodore Mommsen, who is without a doubt um, one of the great geniuses of history, okay? One of the greatest historians ever. And, uh, you know, on YouTube there is not a really, there is no videos, at least as far as I've seen, about him. You know, why? Because nobody reads him. Um, so I'd like to, um, you know, kind of give an introduction to Momzen and, you know, kind of tell you more about his uh, masterpiece, you know, the history of Rome and, you know, perhaps help you decide if, you know, he is a historian you want to check out or if you just want to pass. Okay. Either one is cool with me. So, um, you know, if you do not know who Momzen is, like if you haven't heard of him, um, I kind of want to give you uh, an illustration, you know, kind of a uh, interesting, you know, story, which might, you know, kind of give you an idea about how great he, he is, he was and still is. Um, so in Berlin, OK, uh, there is a university called Humboldt uh, University. Uh, named in honor of, uh, you know, Humboldt, uh, the great kind of linguist, scientist. And uh, in front of it, or inside it, I'm not sure, I haven't been there, um, there is or was a statue of Karl Marx, okay? Um, I don't know, can't find it. Well, anyways, this is something I read on Wikipedia and it doesn't really matter, you know, if you see it or not. But essentially, in University of Humboldt in Berlin, there is a monument to Karl Marx. And, you know, there was an idea to remove, you know, this, you know, statue of Marx and replace it with a statue of Momsen. OK, I think this, um, you know, really illustrates, you know, think about it this way. I mean, Marx you know, great genius, you know, philosopher, historian. And, you know, there was, you know, somebody had this idea that perhaps, you know, Momsen is a greater genius and, you know, he deserves a monument instead of Marx. You know, that, you know, kind of really um, illustrates. Uh, by the way, I have no idea what happened. You know, did they, um, you know, replace the monument or I have no idea what happened. But, you know, this illustrates, you um, you know, that he really was a great, great historian and a great um, intellectual of the uh, late 19th, uh, early 20th century. Um, actually, he died in the very early uh, 20th century. Um, another thing that is really unusual and amazing about Momsen is the fact that he, you know, being a historian, you know, not being a poet or novelist or uh, playwriter, he, you know, got the Nobel Prize in literature, okay? Um, as a historian, he got a Nobel Prize, you know, so he really was a spectacular writer, um, really, really amazing writer, um, and, you know, he got the Nobel Prize, you know, seems like uh, there's uh, a newspaper um, thing, um, about him getting, you know, seems like him. Um, so that's, you know, Theodore Momsen, you know, this great historian who got the, you know, who was one of the first people to got the Nobel Prize in literature. And also, you know, a guy who was considered, you know, to have his statue in place of Marxist. And in the next video, we'll actually talk about his work.